How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, Tim's here and we are working on the CRX again. So let's roll that intro and get into it. So we've added a bit more to the list. What do we got going, Tim? Well, we've added rockers because that's something that uh, we've talked about and actually started working on. Um, we just found out today we also need rear brake wheel cylinders because they are currently leaking and also the bleeder valves broke off when we were trying to bleed them. So we need to order those. Uh, we're gonna do an oil change and a rad flush, just some maintenance stuff. But we can stroke a few things off this list, Matt. Let's talk about that. All right. So first things first, OEM struts and springs. Matt's taking care of that. Uh, they're not OEM, but OEM struts. And then we have springs, um, some JDM lowering springs, which actually work well for this car because they raise this car up. Those springs are meant for an EG. So uh, this car has a nice stance. Uh, wheels and tires, boom, done. We've got these sick race wheels. We oh, yeah. got them super good price with okay tires and uh, wicked light. So that, that worked out well. Um, hood pins, Matt showed you in the last video he did. Hood pins done. They're old trailing arm bushings or trailing arm nuts. Bolts? Huh? <laughs> old trailing arm bolts. Some nuts. Beauty. Those things work good. So also front brake rotors and pads, boom, done. We've, we've bled those. That's when we found out that our uh, rear brake cylinders were no good. And then uh, brake shoes are actually done as well in the rear. So that's it for uh, what we've done. Next step, I think we are, our goal is to get this thing on the ground and get it outside so we can do a rad flush. So I think we're gonna do an oil change before that. Uh, put all the wheels back on. We don't care that the rear brakes are leaking right now. We're just gonna use the e-brake just to get it back. Just kind of see if the car runs and drives properly. Uh, do a rad flush and then uh, I think that's it for now, right Matt? Yeah, we'll see what the day brings, but uh, that's a good start anyway. Because mm -hmm. I went the wrong way. Did you see me do that? No, I didn't see nothing. Is it going? It's yeah. not stripped or anything? Well, it doesn't feel like it should, but it's that it's going. Like I should be able to do it by hand at this point, but still got a lot of tension. Oh. If it's like every other bolt on this car and it's cross-threaded or rusted or seized. Yeah, we'll see. It's looking okay. Oh, she's going. Nice. There we go. Just as dirty as I expected it to be. <laughs> Black. What kind of oil are you running? Only the best. Super tech. Mand. Ninety one octane? Ninety four. No kidding. That's all we got in town. Racing fuel. Really? I hope you're kidding. I bet it's 89. If we're lucky, it's probably 87. They don't even tell you? It's just a above ground tank with a nozzle coming out of it. Just take take at your will and do you pay? Yeah, I paid for you it. You have to pay for it? Yeah. Well, this will be better than what was in there. 100% better. It's a lot less brown. Yeah. That's all that, hey? That'll do. So it takes about 43 seconds to fill 10 liters into a CRX. Doesn't look half bad. It looks like a car. <laughs> those wheels are very period correct. I think we definitely need to give this thing a quick wash, just spray down with the hose, get some dirt off it. Yeah. So I guess we'll bring it outside and uh, do a coolant flush. 
spray her down, and then uh, come back in and try to relax from all this heat. Yeah. Okay, fire it up. I guess kill switch is on. Assuming the battery's got juice. Let's give her a whirl. That's it, eh? That's odd. All right, take two because uh, we blew a fuse and the battery relocate was not working. So, battery is now in the engine bay. Let's try this again. I gotta readjust the seat. Well guys, we got another problem. So, car starts and runs beautifully, but it will not go into gear. So now we gotta figure that out. And we don't want the car to be running too long with no coolant in it. So rather than getting it out of the garage to do a coolant flush, I think we're just gonna fill it with water for now. And then we can try and get the clutch situation figured out. And then uh, we'll go from there. So right now we're just gonna fill it up with uh, garden water. Should be good enough for now. It's like the never ending story, right? <laughs> One thing after another on this thing, but. You finish a chapter and then the next thing. I'm happy it runs though. Yeah. That's a start. But yeah, let's fill this thing up. See if we can get this sorted out. All right, Tim, what did we do? Well, we had to readjust the clutch. So when we first started this car, we were kind of uh, taking on someone else's project. So they did a manual transmission swap on this car. And so we were just, using it the way they had set it up. Um, the car wouldn't go into gear. And uh, so we tried adjusting the clutch uh, and that wasn't working because we were going a little too tight. But now we have adjusted it uh, a little looser, a lot looser than it was. And uh, we had the car lifted so the front wheels wouldn't spin us into the garage. <laughs> and uh, it went into gear without grinding. So uh, we just put it back on the ground. We're gonna try it again. And if it works, we'll bring it outside and- Send it. <laughs> I mean, onto we'll, the driveway. Yeah, send it onto the driveway. Still don't have any brakes. All right, take three or four or five. gonna run water down here and, and try to flush it because I can definitely see there is grot yeah like that is inside the hose so the entire system is kind of gross so let's just all right can only go so fast full sand <laughs> but uh we figured Ooh. to get oh look in there oh look at this too Pretty gross. That's freaking sick. So we thought we would take the uh, thermostat out to get the water flowing a little quicker through the system. Oh, yuck. Yeah, that is... I'm glad we're doing this. Yeah. It's still a lot of brown. That's so bad. There we go. Coolant flush is done, rad flush done. Uh, time to fill her up. What's the next step, Matt? 
I don't know. I'll have to check the list. I mean, we got to figure out exhaust, but I don't know if today's the day for that. It's a big job. And it's wicked hot out, and I don't know if I want to work with hot exhausts and welders. Oh, <laughs> it's so dusty inside the air intake. That's the only setting, Tim. It's broken. Our H is looking all nice and spiffy, hey? Yeah, I think so. Quick little wash. As good as it's gonna get with this primer and like multicolor paints. So, yeah, we can at least see through the windows now and uh, the dust is off of it, so. All right, guys. Well, I think we're gonna wrap it up right there. Day didn't exactly go as planned. We found a lot more things with the CRX that we need to fix. But we were able to cross a few things off the list, so not too bad overall. Mm. So now we're going to go order some parts, wait for those to come in. Uh, we yeah. were able to drive it, so that was nice. Did the cool and flush. So uh, that was nice to be able to drive the car and finally see if it actually works. It kind of does. Yeah. So we have a few more parts to order and then uh, start working on it. Then Get we'll it find finished. the next thing that we got to fix. Cause there's always something. Always something. This but, car is old and rusty and hasn't been taken care of, so mm -hmm. that's that's why we're dirt racing it and yeah. not storing it. Makes sense to me. Mm -hmm. So yeah, guys, uh, let us know what you think. Leave us a comment below. Uh, give us a thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. And catch you in the next see one. See you next time.